admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They were kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repentance seen the light and made a switch. True? Yes. Well, I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, the lonely, and depressed. Pathetic for a fortunate soul in pain, in need. There's one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl. And do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying spells as they please, and I help them? Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice, someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to rake them across the coals. Yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole I've been a saint to those poor unfortunate souls. Now there is this teeny tiny little matter about my fee. It's nothing really, a trifle. All I want from you is your voice. <laughs> After all, there, you have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> the men up there don't like a lot of blubber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is idle babble for? Come on, they're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they dote and swoon and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. Is she who holds her tongue who gets her man? Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't My sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp, take a breath. Go ahead and sign the scroll. Lots of jetsome, now I got a voice. The boss is on. 